you how to get this makeup tutorial I have on now. Um, and this is actually inspired by Olivia Wilde. Um, the other day I was at Walmart and I was looking in the makeup. Obviously, I always look in the makeup even though I've been there hundreds of times. I just, I love looking at the makeup. Anyway, um, I saw these new, I don't know how new they are, but i never seen them before. They're these Revlon um, Colorstay Ultimate Suede Lipsticks. And they look like this in the tube. Um, and um, I saw the picture of Olivia Wilde because she was like the um, person that was like advertising them, I guess. I'm not too sure what the right word is because I can't think of it. Um, but she was wearing this color and it is backstage. Um, and I saw it and I was like, that is so pretty. And her whole makeup was so pretty. I love the eye makeup. So I decided to do an inspired look by it. It's inspired because um, I don't know exactly what she has on her eye. I tried to replicate it, but it was a little hard because her eyes, they weren't closed, they were open, obviously, because she was like looking into the camera, but um, I tried my best to replicate it. So yeah, the eyes are just, they're really prim simple. Um, they've got smoky brown on the bottom and like a pale shimmery pink on the lid. Um, it's just really pretty and the lip color, like I said, is backstage. It's this really pretty deep berry. Um, and if you guys would like a full review on these, I can do that if you want me to, so just leave a comment below because um, I didn't look at reviews before I got this, but um, I know some reviews out there that I have read aren't the most positive on these, but if you guys want to know my thoughts on them, just let me know and I will do that. Um, so yeah, let's just jump right into the makeup tutorial. Okay, so this is the eye look up close, you can see. So I'm just going to jump into the eye look and show you guys how I achieved this eye look. So I'm just starting off by priming my eyes with my e.l.f. eyelid primer. And I'm just going to put this on my eyelids, all the way up to the brow bone, and on the lower lashes, and also in the inner corner. Okay, now I'm going to be taking this um, light, pale, shimmery pink, and this is from my Physician's Formula. It's their shimmer strips, and this is the bronzed eye, and this is for the hazel eyes. And I'm just taking that with on this, um, just this normal eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to get that onto my brush and apply that on my eyelid. Next, I'm going to take this dark plum purple, and this is from my um, L'Oreal Hip Studio Secrets eyeshadow, and this is in Biting. And I'm just taking that on this fluffy blending brush, and I'm going to be concentrating this color on the outer um, half portion of my lid, not focusing it in the crease because from the picture I saw, um, of Olivia Wilde, um, it, she didn't have much in the crease. It was more just focused on the outer portion of the eye. So I just have that on my brush and I'm going to now focus that on the outer part of my eye. And also, you do wanna blend it a little bit into the crease so there is a bit in the crease, but you're gonna focus most of it on the outer portion of the eye. So I've just wiped my brush off on a tissue just to get all of the purple eyeshadow off because now I just want to take my fluffy blending brush and run that along the crease just to blend the, um, eye, the purple eyeshadow out into the crease but not too much. So I just blend that out lightly. Okay, next I'm going to take this dark brown um, from my Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips Palette and again I'm taking that on my fluffy blending brush. And I'm just going to get a little bit of that brown onto my brush. And again, I'm just going to concentrate most of this eyeshadow in the outer corner, kind of going over the purple eyeshadow. So just focus it there. And also again, blend it into the crease a little bit. Next, I'm taking this soft cool eyeliner from Rimmel London, London, and this is in um, Sable Brown. And I'm just going to be taking this along the upper lash line, 
focusing again more on the outer portion, just going a little bit in the inner portion in, in the inner portion of your eye, but you just want to focus most of it on the outer. So you're just gonna line your upper lash line with the brown eyeliner. And after you have lined your um, upper lash line with the brown eyeliner, you're going to take a smudging brush like this and you want to do this immediately after applying it so the eyeliner doesn't dry. And you're just going to take your little smudging brush and you're going to smudge the eyeliner out to give it a smoky effect. So you just go along your upper lash line smudging the eyeliner out. And you can kind of take the outer um, eyeliner that you're smudging into the kind of outer portion here. And then after you have smudged that out, I'm going to take the same brown um, eyeshadow we put on the outer portion of our eye on that same smudge brush and just going to get that on the tip, tap off the excess, and you're going to go over the eyeliner, smudging it out into your um, outer half of your eye. I feel like I am saying that so much, so sorry if I am. you have gone a little too much with the brown in the inner corner just take a little your smudge brush again just wipe it off and take a little more of your light eyeshadow that we put all over the lid and just reapply that in the inner corner and the inner half of your eye and you can apply it over the smudged eyeliner if you want to and then just go back in with your fluffy blending brush and just blend it all together so there aren't any harsh lines Just like that. Now I'm going to be taking um, any like just a matte highlight for the brow bone. I'm going to be taking this one from CoverGirl, just the lightest eyeshadow over here, and this is in the this is the quad Country Woods. Any light eyeshadow will work just to highlight. So you just want to take that onto any brush, any brush. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry, I cannot seem to talk today. Just get it onto any brush and apply that just under your brow bone and make sure to blend that into the crease colors. Okay, it seemed like um, she had a bit of liner on the upper lash line, like black eyeliner. So I'm going to be taking my L'Oreal Paris um, Carbon Linear Intense Eyeliner, or liquid liner, I mean. And I'm just going to very thinly line my upper lash line, not winging it out or anything, because I just want it to make my eyelashes appear thicker. So I'm just going to do a thin line of eyeliner. And if you don't want to use liquid eyeliner, you can just use gel, whichever one's easier. And I totally just smudged that. I'm just going to fix that quickly. Just line your eyes very thinly with your black liquid liner. Then I'm taking my brown eyeliner again and I'm going to line my waterline. Okay, after you have lined your um, waterline with your brown eyeliner, make sure you line it really well because it's really smoky um, on the lower lash line um, in Olivia Wilde's look. So just line it really well. Then after that, you're going to take a thin angled eyeliner brush like this, and you're just going to take some of your dark brown eyeshadow we've been applying, and you're going to put this along the lower lash line. And then after you've applied that on your lower lash line, just take your finger um, and smudge that out. 
Okay, once you have finished smudging the eyeshadow along the lower lash line, you just need to curl your eyelashes and apply mascara. Um, it looks like Olivia Wilde has some false lashes on. I don't have any false lashes, so I'm just going to apply two thick coats of mascara. And you can do that, or you can apply false lashes. It's completely up to you. The mascara I'm going to be using is this Rimmel London one, and it's the Max Bold Curves. And it is in this green tube. So I'm just going to apply two coats of mascara, but first curl my eyelashes. Applying both your coats of mascara and applying it to the lower lashes the eyes are finished and as you can see I have taken my hair down so if I look a little different it's just because I took my hair out of the ponytail I had it in but yeah the eyes are finished so let's move on to the lips okay for lips she is obviously using the Revlon Colorstay ultimate suede um, lipsticks um, and the color she used was backstage um, it told me where all of the lip products were when I saw the makeup and it said she was using backstage so that's the color I have and I will show you it in the tube. It's this really gorgeous color so I'm going to apply this now. Okay so I'm just going to apply it on my lips. Once you have finished your applying the lip product, that is the finished look. Um, like I said, you, I can't see too well what um, eyeshadow she has on, but I tried my best to duplicate it. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys liked it. And if you would like a full review on the lip products, let me know in the comments below and I will do a video on that. So I hope you guys liked this and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!